One of my favorite young players in the NBA right now has been Cade Cunningham. He had a rough start to his rookie season, but really finished that year strong. And he's starting off his sophomore year on an elite level. He's becoming one of the young point guards in the league that you would build around. Now, I don't think you're choosing tr him over Trey Young or John Morant, but there is now a debate between him and LaMelo Ball, in my opinion. And that's just one piece of this young Pistons roster. Sadiq Bey is going to be a third-year man out of Nova. Now, his sophomore year wasn't as good as his rookie year, in my opinion, but I still have high hopes that he could be a good scoring wing for us. Boyan Bogdanovich just got a new contract extension from the Pistons because he's off to a great start. He's a good veteran they can flip him down the line i like that acquisition from him or from them i don't know why the jazz were so willing to just swap Boyan for a linux but hey the jazz are off to a great start this year so i guess it makes sense Jaden ivy yes the fifth overall pick in the 2022 draft i'm gonna go Caden ivy in the backcourt i'm not touching that sometimes i see 2k sign Kyrie. i'm not really editing that at all it's gonna be Caden and ivy all the way we have isaiah stewart at the five hamadou diallo coming off the bench no one's the well probably won't play because jalen duran is gonna get the backup center minutes we have marvin bagley as well who's been hurt to start the year but he's gonna get some playing time for us i mean he did get a three or 38 million dollar extension alec burks and like i mentioned noel probably won't play they were in that salary dump for the knicks to go out and get brunson but i'd rather play some of the young guys as well like even isaiah livers uh former wolverine i'd like to play a little bit and still killing hayes i don't want to give up on him now if i move killing hayes to a shooting guard is his overall change it goes up another former nick and this time kevin knox a uh number to former ninth overall pick yeah, not, uh, didn't really have too good of a career in New York, but I don't think he's going to crack the rotation. So with this team right now, I think Isaiah Stewart's going to get about 27 minutes a night. We could do 29 to Bojan. We'll probably do 30 to Bay. I would like to do 34 to, uh, Kate Cunningham. 31, Jaden Ivey, Jalen Duran, 23 minutes. Corey Joseph's not going to play. Isaiah Livers, I don't mind getting 10 minutes a night too, but then I would have to find more minutes. Oh, I forgot they had Buddy Bayheim as well, and they also have Braxton Key. But yeah, I would like to find some minutes here for Marvin Bagley. Oh yeah, because Kevin Knox is just definitely not getting 15 minutes a night. So I got about 15 minutes a night to really decide who I want to be the sixth man. <sighs> It's probably going to be Bagley, I would assume. He can get 25 minutes a night. And then the other two minutes, I will give to Killian Hayes. Uh, yeah, Diallo is not going to play as much, even though he's a solid player. But yeah, it's going to go um, Duran, or excuse me, Bagley, Duran, Hayes, Diallo, Livers, all off the bench. System proficiency under Dwayne Casey. Yeah, we're going to go to grid and grind. It's two and a half stars. It's not great. I don't think he's going to be on the team next year. I'm not sure if he is a free agent at the end of the year or is or if his contract expires your deal what all right that's kind of brutal i don't know if he's going to be back next year we'll see about that we also will have our first round pick in this upcoming draft it's there's a weird protection on it but i'll make sure i'll get it if we do deserve it and yeah i will monitor uh Bojan bogdanovich's contract throughout the year and look to extend him if he's willing at the deadline i'll give him what he got in real life 2k still doesn't have start today active and they don't well they didn't update that contract extension yet and whoa the pistons are off to a 3-0 start and we'll also monitor to see if anybody is willing to give me a pick for alec burks or no one's well at the deadline like we beat the knicks by five years even though the knicks did pull them out to start the year Okay, he had a 21, 9, and 6. We beat the Magic um, like the Pistons did in opening night. And then we beat the Pacers. Ivy had 23 here. Okay, so yeah, like I said, I will be giving Bojan that new extension when uh, he's eligible for it or when he's willing to come back. And then I will monitor to see if I can move Noel or Burks at the deadline, which I will see you guys there. And yeah, I don't really expect this Pistons team to finish with too good of a record as we are still rebuilding. And imagine that we could end up with one Van I mean, that would be quite insane. So we're getting towards the all-star break. Kate Cunningham has been our leading scorer. 20 points, six rebounds, seven assists. Solid efficiency, which I think is just going to go up and up each year. Bojan is having a good year as well. Um, Jaden Ivey, solid rookie year. Can't hit a three. Didn't really expect him to in his rookie season. Sadiq Bey, ooh, okay. All right, not looking like he's going to be in the long-term plans if that's what his efficiency is going to be. A 47% true shooting percentage. There's Jalen Duran, um, averaging 11 and 6. There's Marvin Bagley. Okay, but yeah, we are going to just see, can I extend Bojan right now? Is he willing to come back? Yes, okay. So what he got in real life was, I believe, a two-year deal because uh, the second year was basically partially guaranteed with about 19 mil. So I'm going to give him that extension and he's obviously going to accept that. And I mean, we're only nine games under 500 right now, which is not even that bad. But yeah, it is the trade deadline. We have a 100% teammate chemistry. Hey, we're making money. We got some profit on the season. Ooh, do we move Sadiq Bey now? Okay, so we'd probably be selling way too low for him. But I'm like, eh, he would have more value than if we move him in the offseason because you at least get a year and a half of control. I don't know. Say we package Sadiq Bey and like Nerlens the well together. 
Like, you're not telling me the Thunder would give me one of their, like, all right first round picks in the future for Sadiq Bay. I feel like they would. Just because he's still only 23 years old. All right, I don't find anything I love, so I'll definitely just move him in the offseason. Because it looks like we are trending in that direction. Alec Burks has now regressed to his 73. I don't know who's taking on this $19 million in salary here. I mean, we're not a big free agency team, so I would take on Davish Bertans and you get off that contract a year earlier, but but I want to get a first round pick at least for my trouble. So let's say we did this swap worse with the Clippers. I would probably be willing to do this. Pertans, we pay 16 million extra too. I mean, like I said, we're not a big free agency destination. I'm not really trying to wipe the cap sheet to sign Draymond in the off season. So yeah, if we did Alec Burks and Nerlens Noel to Dallas, Nerlens Noel goes back to Dallas, but they get Alec Burks' shooting ability. They get off of Bertans' contract for a year because these guys both have team options. They give us this first round pick. They might even accept this, and they do. Okay, so we just add more draft capital. I actually love that trade. I think it makes sense for both sides, but I'm sure somebody in the comments is going to be saying, Matt, that was the most unrealistic trade ever. You should have got more. You should have gave up less, or you fleeced them. I don't know. I can't please everybody. So yeah, that is pretty much going to be the trade deadline, even though we didn't do much, and I didn't mean to, for the computer to edit that. God damn it. And you know what? Okay, maybe this isn't a terrible idea. Should we play Isaiah Levers? Like, start him? Just because if, like, Sadiq Bey's not going to be back next year, it's not the worst idea. Yeah, because Bertans isn't going to play, but I would still like to find about 15 minutes or so to, K or to Killian Hayes. So we're going to go... Mm, all right, well, I have to edit this. 27, 29, Sadiq Bey will still start for the remainder of the year. Isaiah Levers, you can get about 15 minutes a night. I mean, his efficiency hasn't been all that. Uh, Ivy, 32. That's all good with me. And then we'll probably just go... Maybe about 10 delivers still. Yeah, sorry, Isaiah Levers. Uh, we'll do something like this. All right, so yeah, that will be the team for the remainder of the year. We're three-star grid and grind, but I don't think that Casey's gonna be back next year. All right, so Luka Doncic wins MVP, no rookie of the year for Jaden Ivey. It goes to Keegan Murray. But Kate Cunningham gets most improved in a second year. That shouldn't really happen, but you know what? I'll take it. I think he will be making an All-NBA team by the time this video is over. We do get Jaden Ivey on our rookie first team and Jalen Duran on all rookie second team. So yeah, we didn't make the play-in tournament, which is really not too big of a shocker. We ended up being the 13th seed here in the Eastern Conference, a 34 and 48 record. Same record as the New York Knicks. Uh, Cade was the leading scorer, followed by Bojan Bogdanovic, who we could look to move in the offseason if we want to. Uh, Jaden Ivey, 14 and a half points. Hopefully he just continues to progress. I mean, the efficiency was okay for a rookie guard. I'd like for it to be better. Sadiq Bay. Probably gone after team player options, and I'll move him. Jalen Duran, I low-key want to start next year over Isaiah Stewart. But Stewart is, like, a solid player, and he shoots the three a little bit, which is nice. He had 45 three-pointers this year. Diallo is okay. The Killian Hayes experiment is probably over. Maybe somebody's going to trade for his eight and a half assists per 36 with his 91% free throw percentage. There's a, yeah, maybe I, I move Killian Hayes and Sadiq Bey to the Thunder for like one of their first round picks. Luka is your Western Conference Finals MVP and Embiid are, is your Eastern Conference Finals MVP. So, hey, this trade makes sense for the Magic, man. They got two players that at least helped them go to the NBA Finals. Noel's not playing a ton of minutes. Eh, he's playing almost 20. Is Burks not playing? Well, I didn't know they were going to trade for Joe Harris and Edmund Sumner. Okay, did Burks... He played a little bit for... <laughs> Not really, but hey, you give up a first to get off the Bretons contract and Nerlens the well, and they do win it all. So you know what? I'm saying that I helped them. It was a good trade, but they got Luka. Carmelo Anthony could have been a piston. <laughs> it goes to the Hall of Fame, gets his jersey retired by the Nuggets. Sure. So we will be getting our first off pick. If anything, I think in 2K, it will be lottery protected. I guess the Knicks have it right now. So you know what? Next, get lucky. Get lucky and then give it to me. Okay, so our pick actually fell to 10. Ugh. All right, so we went 34 and 48 at the 10th overall pick. We do we have anything else in this draft? We do not. So we have picked 10, which we could look to move. Now I do wish that like 2K allowed you to pick up team options the year prior because I would have picked up Bays. Then I could have moved Bay to move up, which would have made sense. So you know what? Casey, I might keep for one more year. I don't love the grid and grind system. I would like to go maybe somebody with seven seconds or less. Uh, what is Will Hardy? He's balanced. Mike Brown is also balanced. You know what? I'll keep him around for one more year. Um, we're still kind of rebuilding, but I think we could be a playing tournament team next year. Because I think next year's success is determined on Cade's development, not really the head coach, at least for 2024. So with this 10th pick, we could see who the mock drafts have us selecting. Anybody good? It is going to be Emmett Bates. I think that's Imani Bates because um, of the Eastern Michigan, I believe. Unless there's an Emmett Bates there and then I'm a, a clown. But I don't think I'm going to be going after him. We could go Chris Murray, brother of um, Keegan Murray at Iowa. Keeson Wallace. I don't want another guard. 
I would like a wing or, yeah, like a, a forward particularly. So, uh, our Sword Thompson could be somebody we could look at. Uh, maybe one of those guys. We could also look to move the pick if we wanted to do that. I don't think I would move Boyan right now. I like having that veteran on the squad. Bertans, uh, he's got, I mean, he's just here to really collect a paycheck. Marvin Bagley, I mean, if a team wanted him, I don't know if anybody really would. Killing A's, yeah, like I can't move those guys right now. So, I'm just going to make my selection at 10. All right, so we are on the clock. We could see that's the Chaz passed on Wemby. Okay. Uh, but yeah, a couple forwards went. Um, a sort of Thompson, Cam Whitmore. Nothing too crazy. Anthony Black could have been potentially a wing. So I'm looking at someone that could play the three or the four. Chris Murray is a little bit on the older side and basically would replace Sadiq Bey. Now, we could take Arthur Kaluma. We could take Amari Bailey. Don't love Amari Bailey as a prospect. Um, Chris Murray could be an interesting piece here. Now, I would see if any team is willing to give me something good for the 10th overall pick if they want to move up. Larry Markkinen, I don't think they would anymore. So, you know what? I think I'm going to make my selection and take Chris Murray out of Iowa. He's a little bit more on the older side as a prospect, but that's fine. I would like for him to come and make an immediate impact, especially if we're moving away or moving off from Sadiq Bay. Men Thompson could be a guy, but you know what? We're going to take Chris Murray. Let's cross our fingers and hope for the best. And with pick 38, I'm going to take Brandon Miller out of Alabama. Wow, Wemby. Okay, in 86, that might be a little bit too generous. Uh, Chris Murray is a 74 overall. Boyan's probably going to mentor him and Brandon Miller is a 71. Team bar options, we're going to be picking it up on Cade, Bay, Stewart, Livers. 7.4 mil for Hayes. Um, yeah, uh, we're going to pick it up. Kevin Knox, though, I'm not going to pick that up. Braxton Key, I'm not going to give the qualifying offer to. And then, yeah, let's move Sadiq Bay. He's an 81 overall, 24 years old. He'll be a restricted free agent next year. I mean, I would like a first round pick. Uh, maybe another small forward that would make sense. I mean, Keegan Murray and Chris Murray would be fun, but they wouldn't do that. I mean, the Nuggets would definitely do this, but I don't really want to develop Peyton Watson. I don't really have the patience for that. Straight up for Moses Moody. I mean, the Warriors would probably do this, but I don't, I don't know. I'm going to look to OKC to see if they would give me one of their plethora of first round picks next year. Like, would you give me your unprotected Rockets pick next year? Ugh. Uh, probably not. That's kind of high value. Wow. So many of these have high value. What the heck? They have three picks that are just insane. Um, okay. What about if we asked for this Jazz pick? Eh. Um, all right. So would you give me the Washington first round pick? Unprotected for Sadiq Bay? No. Uh, what about if I give you a second? Does that get it done? Um, they want, okay. I don't really want Poku right now. I don't want to really gut my, my second round picks. So I'm going to throw Brandon Miller, who we just took in the second round in this deal, and I think that will get it done. And it does. So we move Sadiq Bay. We don't really get anybody to replace him right now, but that's fine. So looking at our rotation right now, we have Cade, Ivy, Hayes, uh, Murray, Livers. So we're going to go and fully start Chris Murray next year. Might just sign one more point guard. Who's this in for 1.9 mil? Ronato, come on, welcome here. So we do have like $28 million in cap space. Oh, he signs with Toronto. Ish Smith, you are up. I don't think he's going to play, but yeah. So I'm not going to bring back Cam Diallo. And we're going to really save all my money for next year because guys from the 2020 class, I mean, Bay's gone. I'm not re-signing Killian Hayes. I might Isaiah Stewart, but if he asks for a lot, like then I just go with uh, Jalen Duran. Do we sign Chris Middleton? No. I'm not going to sign any one of these guys. Draymond goes to the Spurs for 22 mil a year. Taking a look at play progression. So Boyan has regressed. I mean, he has a team option at the end of the year. So I'm not really too upset with that. Cade is up to a 90 overall. He might carry this team to the playoffs. But if not, I wouldn't be surprised because this team still isn't too great. All right. So Cade and Ivy are going to play a ton in this backcourt. Chris Murray is going to start at the three. We have Bagley at the four and Isaiah Stewart at the five. We're the biggest wizards haters this year we want him to lose a lot of games uh Bojan will start bagley yeah he won't be at the four he's gonna get about 21 minutes tonight uh steward about 28 but i do want to groom Duran to be the starter next year Bojan probably get like 27 murray is a rookie 29 i think is more than enough uh 17 to hayes 14 number times now i would like to give um livers some minutes as well uh he can get about let's see i think like 14 is good and then we can give 21 to hayes 24 to Bagley. We will go with a nine minute rotation. Probably use Dwayne Casey as a scapegoat next year. Is there anything that works a little bit better for this team? No, we'll stick with Gritty Grind. I don't know why Chris Murray shot tendencies at a 27. So let's up that to a 63. And eh, 65 is probably good. I'm hoping his efficiency just isn't like ass, but we'll see. Some of these rookie players that I get, it happens. I mean, his first game, he goes over 2. 
Okay, so we only took two shots. I mean, he's a rookie, but we did win. I mean, the season really is on Cade Cunningham. We lose to the Knicks on the road. That's fine. Cade at 36, 6, and 9. He's not going to be able to do it all by himself. Murray, okay. Seven assists. I mean, if you're going to give me some passing ability, I'm a fan of that. We beat the Pacers. I'm waiting for the one Chris Mur good Chris Murray game. Okay, I'll take that one. He hit three threes. Just don't, the efficiency doesn't suck. I'll see you guys most likely at the deadline um, because I'll see who's on the block and if I want to make a move or not. All right, so we are heading into February and we are seven games above 500. Yeah, Kate is really carrying this team, which isn't great on paper to a potential play in tournament appearance. Hey, if we could be a top six seed, I would say we're definitely ahead of schedule. And it is nice. Like sometimes like when I was doing that Jazz 10 year rebuild and we weren't doing too well or like we were barely gonna make the playoffs. I'm like, okay, this is nice, but like we don't have someone that can carry us. Like Cade is somebody that we could really not have a great roster just in general, but around him, he's going to carry us in 2K. 26 points, seven rebounds, 8.7 assists on 66% shoot shooting. Yeah, we could build around this guy. Jaden Ivey, much better in year two. 57% shoot shoot shooting, 19, four, 4.7, 4.9. Jalen Duran, 13 points, almost seven rebounds, a block and a half, 68% from the field. Okay, Bojan is probably erased all trade value, so he's just trending towards probably getting his team option declined in the offseason. Chris Murray, not bad for a rookie. 58% true shooting, 42 from the field, 36 from three. And then nothing too crazy elsewhere. Isaiah Stewart, we could trade him because he will be a restricted free agent. And yeah, we do have Chris Murray being mentored by Bojan. I forgot to mention that. But if we were going to look to move Isaiah Stewart, I know I completely gut the 2020 Pistons class because Hayes is probably not going to be brought back. Uh, Bay is gone. Well, I'll see what he's doing and we have to check out the Wizards record. But if I'm going to go and start during next year, because Stewart might ask for 20, like we can actually see how much he's asking for in free agency. So he's going to ask for around... 5.7 oh no that's his uh, 18 mil okay um uh, for, i don't know that's not terrible just like the way the nba is heading but let's see what we can get for him we could trade him straight up for sadiq bay but how is bay playing this year much better maybe just needed a change of scenery like look at that difference look at that difference i mean stewart for shangu straight up but like yeah if i'm gonna start Duran, then if i was gonna get a center they would be the backup center so like zeke naji who's also a free agent and I can get a first round pick. It's not terrible because Najee will definitely ask for less. And if you're going to be the backup center, you're going to be the backup center. But we do want to see how far this team can go this year. And like Isaiah Stewart is definitely better right now. I mean, Daniel Gafford's so I'd lock into about 13 mil for a center, which isn't too bad. So I think that Najee deal would make the most sense. Not Najee Harris, Zeke Najee. Isaiah Stewart for Zeke Najee. And I get a first. They get bird rights on Stewart. They'd be able to match any deal. I don't know. I don't hate this idea. I don't. Stewart's good, though. Is Duran ready? And I mean, Najee's all right. So I'm really doing this just to get, cut my losses and get something. You know what? Let's do this trade. Isaiah Stewart for Zeke Najee. It's definitely an upgrade there. Um, and we get a first round pick. So I'm going to do that trade. Like I said, um, he was going to be gone most likely. Uh, we're going to give Jalen Duran 32 minutes. I'm going to go 35 to Ivy. And then Zeke Najee is going to get about 20 minutes a night. How is Isaiah Livers doing? All right. I mean, he's not really shooting the ball a ton, but that's fine. His efficiency has been okay. Did we go up in system proficiency? We did not. We're at three stars. That's fine. Cade. Take me to the playoffs, please. So Luka wins MVP once again. Scoot Henderson, your rookie of the year. Cole Anthony, sixth man of the year, still in Orlando. He'll be a free agent. It would pay a lot of money to him to be the sixth man next year. Giannis Depoy, most improved, goes to Garland and coach of the year, McMillan. Does Cade get an all-NBA third team appearance? Yes, he does. 26 and a half points, seven rebounds, nine assists. Should be higher. He could have been the MVP this season. And we do get Chris Murray on our rookie second team, who finished with a 37% three-point percentage. That's a solid rookie year from Murray. I will take that. All right, so we made the play-in tournament as the seventh seed. Damn, how close were we to the sixth seed? We tied. Could have won one more game. So just taking a look at the stats, we saw Cade. Ivy had a great year, 19 and a half points, 4.7 rebounds, 5.1 assists, 35 from three, 80 from the line. Uh, Jalen Duran finished with 14 points and 7.6 rebounds, a block and a half a night, 69% from the field. We already saw Chris Murray. Bojan, hopefully he just plays well in the playing tournament. Uh, there's Marvin Bagley, not great either. Uh, he's still got another year with about like 12 and a half mil left on that contract. There is Killian Hayes, who was, I mean, that efficiency is just, garbage man it really is it's a shame and then we have Najee and Livers so for the playing tournament let's adjust this rotation a little bit uh Zeke Najee I guess hasn't been great since coming over um he's probably not gonna play as much Killing Hayes is gonna drop to like 12 minutes a night we can honestly up Livers to like 18 uh Zeke Najee down to 18 Bagley down to 20 uh so yeah Cade's gonna get 40 minutes tonight Avi's gonna get 38 Murray's gonna get 34 
34, 33, and then 34 to Durant. So we're we're really relying on those four guys in uh, Cade, Ivy, Murray, and Duran to take us to the actual playoffs. We only have to win one playing tournament game now. Uh, and we do have two attempts. So we're taking on the Pacers first. We are up by double digits, but we do blow it a little bit in the third. And we choke the game away. Oh my god. <laughs> We end up giving up 51 points in the fourth quarter to choke. He had an incredible game. Same with Ivy. God damn it, Wemby. <laughs> He's too good already. And now we are taking on the Philadelphia 76ers. That's a tough team in the playing tournament, but maybe they're on the way down and we're on the way up. Uh, they are up by double digits right now, so it's not looking too good for us. Okay, down by four. Ivy's having a great game. Cade. Oh my god, he's at five fouls. All right, well, we're winning this game without Kate Cunningham, which is, I don't think is possible. Oh my god, reverse psychology works. How the hell does that happen? How does Cade most likely fouled out? Yeah, in 28 minutes with seven points, and he was awful. We still win. Bogdan. Holy crap, you suck. Not Bogdan. Bojan, you stick. One for 11 from three. But shout out Jalen Duren and Jaden Ivey, the 2022 draft picks. Even Chris Murray was great. Okay, so the Pistons make the playoffs. Let's go. So we're taking on the Atlanta Hawks, who have still Young and Murray, Hunter Collins, Onyeka Kungwu. They got Bogdan Bogdanovich, uh, Hardaway Jr., former Hawk, and now he is back on the... Oh, no, yeah, yeah, former Hawk, and then back on the Hawks. I don't think we're going to pull off this upset, but hey, we won game one, so you never know. We beat them by 10 points. Cade and Ivy combined for 52 Ivy shot nine for 25. Good ward. One for seven for three. We end up losing game two by two touchdowns. Kate had 39 though. Game three, we pick up the win by nine points. Kate had 42, seven and eight. Ivy with 25, five, five and two. Darren with 18 and 18. Game four, we end up losing by 18. Ivy had 44 points. Kate with 31, 11 and nine. And then game five, we end up losing by 22. Uh, Kate with 26 and 13. Don't lose game six. Okay, we force a game seven. <laughs> Ivy and Murray come on for 50, and then Kate did 33 and 10. He's averaging 33, 8 and 10 in these six games. <laughs> Ivy, 27, 6 and 6. Yeah, on 50, 40, 90 splits too. Chris Murray, 40 from three. Let's see what we can do. Game seven against Atlanta. On the road, we get off to a good start. We outscored them by eight in the first, but then they outscore us by seven in the second. We blow them out in the third. Uh, 10 points. Just don't choke it. And we are going on to round two. And we are going to round two. Maybe Dwayne Casey is the guy for this team. Cade, 42, 9, and 7. 24, 6, and 8 for Ivy. 16, and 10 for Bagley off the bench. And we upset the one-seeded Hawks. That's why I was excited for the Pistons rebuild, man, because TK likes them in the sim. But I think our Lux might run out because that Cavs team is quite insane. We lose game one by 30 points. Okay. Don't lose game two. Uh, yeah, it's probably over. We lost by five. Kate had a 33-point triple-double. But that did not shoot well from the field at all. Four for 18 from three. Nine for 27 from the field. We go down uh, and lose game three. 48, 7, and 8. For Cade, 26 and 8. For Ivy, we lost by 15. And we end up getting swept by 33 points. Cade and Ivy combined for 62. But it was not enough. Garland is your Eastern Conference Finals MVP. And Ja, your Western Conference Finals MVP. And the Cavs win it all with Dimitch being your Finals MVP. All right, so we don't get anybody that retires. All right, does Dwayne Casey retire? Nope. Hall of Fame, big class. LeBron, Paul, Russ, and Dwayne Howard. A lot of Jersey retirements as well. So yeah, we won't be... Oh, I forgot to check the Wizards. Where'd they end up? Oh my God, number one. Let's go. I picked the right Thunder pick for Sadiq Bay. It's not going to be number one, but that is huge because we're not going to get our first round pick since I believe it was like lottery protected, but whatever. The Knicks are going to get it. Uh, so yeah, that is massive. We are going to end up with a potential top five overall pick, which I'm not even like rolling out the realm of possibly trading it for a power forward. Because I like Chris Murray at the three and Durant at the five. But you know what? With Bojan most likely gone, I don't think Bagley's the answer. We're not a huge free agency destination like I mentioned. Let's possibly just maybe make a trade. But I don't know if we're going to end up with it being in the top three. It might fall to five. It probably will. There hasn't been any surprises so far. So that means we're going to have our first surprise here. Nope. The Knicks stay at eight. I mean, no surprises is good for us. That means we could stay at one. Who knows? Kings. Uh, they move up. Grizzlies get the seventh overall pick via Golden State, and the Suns uh, stay at six. So I think the Grizzlies with their pick. Wait, 
No, Grizzlies must have had a different pick as well, which I don't really get or know who they must have had that from, and we dropped to five. Oh, that is so annoying. So I don't know why I thought the Grizzlies moved up. Maybe it was like the Spurs or the Kings, and they just got to keep it for now. But the Spurs have one in four. Why can't we get that type of luck? The Knicks will get our pick at 21. All right, though. You know what? I traded Sadiq Bay for basically the fifth overall pick. That worked out for us. I'm going to try to hire Steve Nash as an assistant head coach. You know, just help mentor. And yeah, Nash got fired today. I'm recording this shortly after. But uh, yeah, we're going to keep Casey as our head coach. I mean, he helped us beat a one seed last year. So we can end up with Ron Holland. I mean, like, Xavier Booker would have been the guy. I mean, if Xavier Booker doesn't go one, maybe I make a godfather offer to the Kings. Then I don't even know what the hell I'd include. Oh, wait a second. I'm an idiot. Did Bojan already have that new contract extension in this? Why is... I'm confused. So this is the 2024 draft. I guess I'm paying him 20 mil next year. I thought the team option was right now. All right. But yeah, let me just see who goes one. If it's not Booker, I will make a trade with the Kings. So that, like, that would have been nice if we can get Xavier Booker. And it's going to be... Oh, it's Xavier Booker. Kristaps Porzingis. Ah, oh, he's on the Jazz now, though. All right. So I don't really love any of the offers to trade the fifth overall pick for a power forward, sadly. Let's see who goes two. I'm sure it's going to be Wagner. Gus Snow. What a name that is. DJ Wagner goes three to the Thunder. Omaha Bilu to the Spurs. And we are on the clock here at five. Ron Holland would make most likely the most sense. And yeah, I could also just kind of draft him, then trade him. Because I'm not seeing any offers I love right now. So you know what? I'm going to take Ron Holland, but there is a chance I move him. And he is a 76 overall at the age of 19. Matzas could have been a better pick, but you know what? I'm fine with that. Let's sign him and Willard Watts, who we got at 37. We're going to pick up the team options on Duran, Ivy, and Cade. And we're going to extend the qualifying offer to everybody here, but I quickly might resign it on Zeke Naji or Killian Hayes. So if I were to move Ron Holland and like maybe package together Marvin Bagley, I'd love Mikel Bridges, but I can't put him at the four. Hmm. Hmm. Ben Simmons. He's somebody I wouldn't mind putting at the four. I mean, our floor spacing with him and Duran probably isn't a great idea, but I'm tempted. I am tempted and possibly making a big swing. I mean, maybe I can get Ben Simmons without that. So, um, Robert Williams, that's cool and all, but like, let's see. If I tried, I don't know, because he's making 40 mil. Say we did Marvin Bagley, Bojan Bogdanovic, Willard Watts, and this first round pick from the Clippers. Are they willing to just kind of get off of Ben Simmons? They think he's a sunk cost, one year left on the deal. They say no. They would want two first-round picks. Okay, so it's either two first-round picks or Ron Holland. Um, I mean, I'm already giving you one. I would give you my top 10 protected first next year. This is the most I would do for Ben Simmons. Okay, let's go. Um, yeah, whoa, we just traded for freaking Ben Simmons. Uh, and I got to keep Ron Holland, which is kind of nice. So right now we have about six guys under contract. Simmons, if I move into a power forward, he's probably going to go down. And he's an 87. I, I will take that. So I have no idea if this is going to work. Good thing he does have one year left. I'm sure there's a player option attached. No. So he's an unrestricted free agent next year. And I don't really think we gave up too much because I think we're going to be good. So I don't mind giving up my pick. That Thunder pick, no. And then everybody else was fine. So let's look to bring some guys back. And I don't... Do we have cap space? We do. We have about $42 million in cap. Uh, Bertans isn't coming back. Zeke Naji, I wouldn't mind bringing back. But he's not a great system fit. Hayes is not coming back. He's a good fit. Sadiq Bay. But I think I might try to sign Josh Hart. He'd be a good wing to come off the bench for us. I would give him, like, he wouldn't cost me too much. 13, 14 mil over three years. Uh, flat rate that. Andre Drummond, homecoming in Detroit. Uh, I might go after Mo Bamba, actually, to be our backup center. So if I gave him about 36 million over three years, we'll see if he would accept that. And lastly, I want to snag another point guard. John Wall at 33. He's a good system fit, but I don't know. Fultz is just going to cost me too much money. Then, like, the ball's definitely not. So, anybody else a good fit? Jose Alvarado. There we go. One-year deal. Can we get all three? Yes, we can. That means we're going to renounce our rights on Killian Hayes um, and Zeke Naji because we are bringing in Mo Bamba. I like those additions. That is huge. And Isaiah Livers, I would hope to get back on the qualifying offer. Nobody really switched up teams. I mean, I guess the uh, Pacers got Lonzo and Halbert and went to the Spurs. DeRozan stayed in Chicago. Everybody else stayed. But we get Livers back on the qualifying offer. And I know it might be like Matt Ben Simmons. But in this game, he's an 87 overall. He's going to give us good defense the floor spacing could hurt but if we're gonna get Cade, that's gonna shoot at a 40 percent clip 42 percent ivy that might shoot at a 35 plus percent clip and chris murray who was very solid from three last year we might be able to salvage that we'll see if it's not working out well ben simmons is gone next year we'll have some cap we'll be okay so let's look at the roster right now the rotation so they want to start hart i'm gonna start murray just for some spacing but Hart, like i like this bench like this is definitely the best bench we've had livers might not play but, like, Holland, like, our fifth overall pick might not even, like, get that many minutes as rookie year because we're pretty deep. So, we're going to go 36 to Cade, 33 to Ivy, 
30 to Ben Simmons. Um, we're probably going to go like 23 to Bamba, 26 to Josh Hart, maybe 29 to Ben Simmons, 29 to Duran. Let's do about 28 to Chris Murray, and then let's go two more to Ron Holland. Eh. We'll do about 18 to Ron Holland and Jose Alvarado. System proficiency is four-star grid and grind. Pistons country, let's rock. So Luka competes the trifecta. He gets another MVP award. Xavier Booker, rookie of the year. Ah, that would have been so nice to have. He doesn't shoot threes though, so I mean like... The floor spacing would have been great either way. Nick Smith balls out. Wow. Shout out to Nick Smith from the Supersonics franchise. He gets most improved. Giannis Depoy. Or no, that was six man. Most improved goes to Gregory Jackson, who really wasn't the most efficient player in the world. But we go, go ahead and get coach of the year, Dwayne Casey, 56 and 26. Usually I fire him away, so I'm kind of glad that I kept him around. No Kate on the first two teams, I guess because the guards. Like, Luke is a lock. Lamelo puts up absurd numbers john garland you know how like they just carry themselves or their teams in the playoffs so i guess kate is just joining in that next crew all nba 13 no pistons on the defensive teams unfortunately so we are the one seed in the eastern conference taking on the brooklyn nets in round one who got long right at the point guard position Kyrie, kd pat well i'm actually i might do them as my next team i had another team in mind but the nets are just a mess man i might just try to rebuild them i don't even know what the hell i'll do i would probably move Kyrie. i wouldn't have signed him Doka. And I'll, maybe I'll move KD in the offseason. You know, that might be my next rebuild. So if you, you're still watching at this point, you know already what team I'm going to rebuild next. Jalen Duran, 15 and 8 this season. I mean, Ivy was great. Just under 20 points per game, but really good efficiency. We know how good Cade was. Uh, Chris Murray, 13 points, 3.6 rebounds. The efficiency goes up. Yes, sir. Let's go. 61% true shooting. There's Ben Simmons giving me 13 points. 5.7 rebounds, 8.3 assists. Like, I don't even know, like, what I would do with him, but he's an 89 overall. Uh, Josh Hart. Good season. Ah, what happened from three, man? What happened? Uh, there's Mo Bamba, 8.6 rebounds in a, not a, like a lot of playing time. There's Ron Holland and there's Alvarado. So let's adjust this rotation for the playoffs. So we'll go to the bench. Bamba probably go down to 20. Uh, Alvarado down to 15. Uh, and then what? I got six minutes right now. I'd like to go 39 to Cade, 35 to Ivy. I would like to get about three more minutes here. So maybe we'll do like, hmm, maybe 34, 38, something like that. Uh, one more to Murray, one more to Duran. All right, we'll see how that team does. We might need to adjust. Four stars isn't proficiency. And let's see, can we beat the Brooklyn Nets? Ben Simmons revenge series here. Uh, okay, they beat us in game one by 18. Wait, did I even... Wait, I'm confused. Yeah, no, I got Ben Simmons from Brooklyn. I was just like, I didn't really notice anybody... Uh, that was a former Piston, but Leonard Miller, right? Now I got Brandon Miller. That completely wrong trade too. Yeah, so they're not even using like anybody. I guess it was just the picks, but Willard Watts, like, didn't I give them Bagley or Bojan? They might've leveraged those guys in a different trade. Yep, they traded Marvin Bagley and Bojan Bogdanovich for Patrick Williams and Gary Harris. Game two, we end up winning. Okay, we beat them by 50 points. Okay, that's, that's, that's good. We should keep doing that. I like that. Go down two to one. All right, 2K. You're going to just have me lose two and 18 after I beat uh, a one seed last year. Okay, we tied up two to two. We're blowing them out in the games we're winning. Come on, beat them in game five. Thank you. Blow them out. Like, we're, we're, we can dominate them. Let's win game six and call it a series. Oh my goodness. No, <laughs> they're forcing a game seven. It's going to be in Detroit. I don't like this. I mean, we're still going up against good players like Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving. Uh, it's a fairly close game and we're down by six. Great. What is that third quarter, man? Oh my god, we're down by fucking 14. It's over. We lost. Oh, 2K, you make no goddamn sense. Feth you. Ugh, I'm really pissed. I thought we were going to win that. Uh, I thought we were going to win it all. I would. Um, Dwayne Casey, I might fire you. You might be my scapegoat. Not the Ben Simmons, Jalen Duran, floor spacing. Oh my god. All right, Simmons is a free agent. I don't know how much cap space we'll have because we got to re-sign Kate Cunningham. Play gets his jersey retired by the Warriors, Blake by the Clippers. All right. All right. You know what? You're four. That's when you can win it all. We do not have our pickets going to the Nets at 29. Dwayne Casey does have one year left. I mean, we can look at some of the candidates out here to see if anybody's a really good fit like Doc Rivers, Nick Nurse. Eh. I mean, okay, you know what? We're going to do it for the storyline. We're going to fire Dwayne Casey. I might not even be able to sign him, so this might be dumb. And get Nick Nurse. It worked out for the Raptors when they fired or let go Dwayne Casey and went with Nick Nurse. So we need a backup just in case. So we will go after J.B. Bickerstaff. He would be a good enough defensive head coach. Ty Lue, just in case. Uh, Nash, we could promote. He's got good ratings as well. 
Uh, Mike Malone. Yeah, I'm sure I'm going to get one of these guys. I mean, I don't love the defensive minded head coach right now, but we'll see if we can get one of those guys. And let me also just throw a deal at Doc Rivers if we want to go with a different grid and grind route. And we get three of them. So we were able to sign Doc, Lou, and Bickerstaff. Um, I think I might go Ty Lou. I think I'm going to go Ty Lou. Uh, I really want a Nick Nurse, but it's all right. So yeah, we are going to have to figure out what we're doing at the power forward position because Simmons will be a free agent. Uh, we could re-sign him. Uh, we would have to dish off some money. I don't know. We'll see who's there. We had pick 31 where we got Radoslav Turk, and he's 7'2", and Timmy Kerr there at Mr. Irrelevant. So we're picking up the t picking up the team options on Chris Murray, Jalen Duran, and Jaden Ivey. Giannis, <laughs> for fun? I mean... For fun, maybe. Uh, all right, so Cade, we're gonna accept the qualifying offer, Livers and Alvarado. Like, Cade's probably gonna have like 20 offers. Okay, he has seven. Any of them real deals, they're not. And we have about, uh, we have a lot of money in cap space, okay. I'm going to, Simmons doesn't have an offer yet. I'm gonna offer Giannis a deal. I don't think I'm gonna get him. I think I can afford him on that. And then, what's what's Cade's cap hold? That's actually a big question. It's, oh, it's 28 million. All right. Um, I would have to offload like Mobamba, which is possible. So we're going to see if I can get him. I don't think I will. Um, and if not, uh, it's fine. I mean, I'm not going to get mobile. He's restricted. So it'd probably be like plan B would be Ben Simmons, bring him back. So let's just offer Simmons a, oh God, a, a two year deal. I mean, this might be the last year anyway, if we win it all. So I'm not going to sign anybody else. Kate doesn't have a real deal yet. So I don't have to worry about giving him one. And we got Giannis. Okay. Okay. I never get Giannis. And I know I'm talking all this stuff about not, like, we're not a big free agency, free agency destination. But we were the one seed. It's Detroit, Milwaukee. It's not too far from each other. So Giannis wouldn't have to maybe move too far. Um, and yeah, I, I want to get Giannis. I never get him. And I think I can pull this off with Renat certain rights on Ben Simmons, Isaiah Livers. I would have to re... Okay. I don't know how much I think I have to clear up. I think it's around... 11 mil so mo bamba you have a one-way ticket to getting traded we could go with radoslav turk as the backup but i'm also going to throw in timmy curran here and we're going to be sending him to toronto for a 2026 lottery protected first round pick so i believe now i don't have to renounce the rights on kate cunningham wait what oh no this is because we're signing ben simmons <laughs> i don't want ben simmons uh i want to keep these three okay i can't really okay so uh i don't want to renounce the rights on alvarado so I don't know. We'll figure that out. But let's sign Giannis onto the Koopo. That is massive. And we're not renouncing the rights on Kate Cunningham. So we're just going to have to monitor him to make sure he's not about to accept the deals elsewhere. Okay, we're good. Just making sure. And he's probably going to make this difficult. Nope, he doesn't have any real deals yet. That is perfect. So we get Giannis. Welcome to the squad. Uh, let's give Cade all the money he wants or we'll match whatever deal he gets. I can't believe we just got Giannis. This is crazy. All right, so we give Cade 200 million. Uh, yeah, we have an owner that spends. So um i don't know if i could afford any, like oh my god i could afford ben simmons to go over what epic oh wait i think that was the most i could give him yeah i can't give him any more 40 yeah that's the most and he says no to that really all right we'll keep an eye on him i don't know if i'll be able to bring him back i was hoping to bring back alvarado but it doesn't look like i can you know what frank nilakina good system fit let's bring him in on a minimum contract if i can also sign yaka Pertle, that'd be Loki huge. I don't know if I will be able to get him, but I would like that. All right, so I don't have to play Turk. So, Ben Simmons, you want to sign for less? Why do you want so much money? You're not worth that. And it looks like he actually did get paid. Ben Simmons got 11 mil from the Lakers. Okay, F you. All right, so before free agency is done, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's go. All right, so taking a look at the player progression. Caden, yeah, let's come on. That's pretty dope. All right, so here we go. Uh, Cade, Ivy, they want to start Hart. You know what? That's fine with me, but I, I got to get Chris Murray more minutes than that. He's going to get about 26. Uh, Pirtle can get about 18, uh, 19, 13 to Frank Neal Aquina. 22 to Holland's good. We can do 29 to Durant. 30, 40 on us for the regular season. 32 to Ivy. We'll actually just do 35 to these guys. And you know what? Let's start Chris Murray. Come on. Some homegrown talent. Let's do that. Under Ty Lu, we are four star. Not that. Uh, defense, four star balance. Let's win it all in the final year. And Luka Doncic wins his fourth straight MVP award. Yeah, he's going to win it each year in and out. Uh, Cole Anthony, six minute of the year from the Magic. Did he get paid a big deal from them or is it like a one year thing? Oh, I can't see. But he's. Like, just had a crying in points and elite shooter. Chet Holmgren wins Depoy. Peyton Watson, the guy I didn't want to develop as a solid year, wins most improved. And the Pacers are really good. I mean, I know that they have Lonzo Ball and Wembanyama, and I'd assume Matherin as Giannis gets all NBA first team honors. Of course, he doesn't get Depoy when he comes here. But Cade slides into all NBA second team. Who fell out? 
It was Ja Morant who goes to third team. We're going to be taking on the New York Knicks in round one. They have Kyra Lewis, Keontae George, RJ Barrett, Scotty Barnes. Okay. Wait, did I also see Franz Wagner off the bench? What is going on? Derek Whitehead? Wow. Oh, here were the numbers throughout the season. Cade Lettison in scoring, followed by Giannis at Ivy. 320 point per game scores. Duran averaged 14 and 8.5, 1.7 blocks. There's Hart, he, or Chris Murray, Ron Holland, Yaka Pertle, Neil Akina, um, etc. So for the playoffs, I'll let 2K kind of decide. Um, I don't need to play Ty Jerome five minutes tonight. I mean, Neil Akina. She got 39 from three. You know what? I'll take that. Why? Like, we got to play Chris Murray more minutes, man. We, like, what, what is going on here? Why does 2K not want me to play him? You can get 31 minutes, and he's going to start at the three. But what? Like, why is Ivy not getting that many? 40 to Giannis, 40 to Cade. And let's do 33 to Ivy. All right. Round one against the New York Knicks, who we should beat. And we, gentlemen, sweep them. Giannis and Cade, both average 29 per game. They're in a race right now to see who's going to win. Uh, finals MVP and conference finals MVP. I don't know if I'm being too cocky. They got both and bridges there in Charlotte. They have Mark Williams, Quell Ware, Quentin Grimes, Lamelo Ball, Troy Mann, Grant Williams. That's a solid team there right now, but not solid enough to beat us as we gentlemen sweep them. Here we go. The Cavs in the conference finals. <sighs> Door, that's like the perfect small forward in between that front court and that back court. This is gonna be a tough one. We do win game one, we blow them out. Game two, we win. Okay, I'm still nervous, man. We could easily blow it to 2 0 lead. Yep, there it is. All right, all right. Giannis had 16 assists in this L. Murray went three for 11. Game four, yes, we go up three to one. Come on, let's gentlemen sweep them as well. And we do, we are going off to the NBA finals to take on. Let's see, a team from Texas, Game 7, Rockets, Spurs, and it is the San Antonio Spurs. The Rockets blow a 3-1 lead, Halliburton Western Conference Finals MVP, and Cade beat out Giannis for Eastern Conference Finals MVP. So they got Tyrese Halliburton, Malachi Branham, Keldon Johnson, Xavier Booker, Derek Lively. I gotta do this rebuild as well. I just need one team that I'm rebuilding that's like tanking this year for Victor to actually like get the number one pick to get for, or get Victor. Uh, Cade had 45 points in 42 minutes. Giannis had a triple-double. Game 2, we lose. Okay. I mean, we've gentlemen swept every series. Could it be this one as well? Oh, what? Oh my God. Cade with 33 points, 14 rebounds, 26 assists. Huh? That is insane. That is one of the craziest stat lines ever. Oh yeah, they got Xavier Booker. Wow, Giannis with a triple-double here. I mean, 28, 11, and 9. And then like, I mean, it's been only two in the playoffs. Uh, Cade also is just so good. And are we going to gentleman sweep them? Yep, we just did four straight gentleman sweeps. Cade is your finals MVP. So I hope you guys did enjoy. Drop a like if you did. I got Giannis. I know. He's not going to be a piston probably one day. I just kind of wanted to get Giannis because I don't really get him too often. So let me know if you guys did enjoy by dropping a thumbs up. Like I said, the Nets rebuild will probably come next. I also want to do a Magic rebuild really soon because I want to do something around Bancaro. But I do need to figure out which my next 10-year rebuild is going to be. So I hope you guys do enjoy. I love you guys and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.